picked up another item for my Moto Guzzi V7 Special. This is a Moto Power USB charger. And I'll mount this under the seat. And if I take a longer ride, let's say using my cell phone for a GPS, if I need to, I can recharge my phone using this. So let's take a look at it. Have a fuse two terminals to connect to the battery, a length of cable, I have a lot of cable, I have way too much cable. Well, I think I'm going to mount the USB charger oh, right about right about there maybe maybe right there the top of the charger will be below these this fuse block so it shouldn't interfere with the seat and mounting it here if I plug in a USB cable I have plenty of room for the cable to make a bend and I think what I'll do is I'll just run the cable up over the top of the tank. So I don't think I'm going to need this very often. But if I'm on a longer ride and I have my phone, you know, up on the handlebars where I'm using it for a GPS, then I may get into a situation where I need to charge my phone. But I think most of the time I'm not going to need it. But if I need it, then I'll have it. Now there's a threaded hole right here. There's a threaded hole right here. So I think I'll use those, then make a bracket, and then bolt the charger socket to the bracket. I used the Blender 3D modeling software to create a model of my mounting bracket for my USB charger. And here you can see the bracket in the software. There's a little bit of a raised pad for the USB charger so I can get the cap on and off. I measured the distance between the centers on the frame and then sculpted it to fit around the fender. And you can see the shape of the pad for the mounting of the USB charger. And I put some holes there, mounting holes for the for the charger. And you can see the countersunk holes on the bottom where if I use some flathead screws when I put the bracket down on the frame it won't interfere. So what I'll do now is I'll export this as an STL file and load it into my 3D printer and print it out. Yeah, here's my 3D printer working on my bracket. Yeah, I'm not quite halfway into the print. Check back on it in an hour or so and it should be much closer. I have the charger bolted to the bracket with some 440 machine screws. Use a little flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. And I used uh, flat head screws which recessed into my bracket.
And I found a couple number eight metric bolts. I don't have don't have much as far as metric hardware goes. So these have Torx Torx heads. All right, let's snug these down. <clears throat> tight. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove both side covers. I'm going to need access to the battery terminals and I'm going to remove this side cover over on the left side because the cables are long and I considered cutting them and re-splicing them but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to wrap them up and tie them up behind this cover. Need a four millimeter Allen or hex drive wrench. And it's really hot in here. Arizona summers, yeah, they're miserable. Push up on the back, push forward on the front. I haven't had this one off before, so hopefully it's the same thing. It's tight. The key for the seat seat latch is connected to the cover, so I'll have to leave it there. I've run the cable up over the air box right here. And you can see I have I have a lot of length. If I run this up here, you can see where it's going to connect to the charger. And I have all this extra cable here I need to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a few loops until I have the right length. tie wrap here So it's connected, and now I just need to tidy this up a little bit. And I want to put the cover back on.
Now you can see the wires here just a little bit. I think once the seat's on, it should be okay. And you can see where the connector is here. And then how we have the charger hooked up. So everything's good on this side. And we'll move over to the battery and connect it up to the battery terminals. I have a tie wrap right here. I'm going to leave that. So that secures the trickle charger cable, which is also secured here. And it also secures the USB charger cable. Now when I disconnect the battery terminals, I'm going to, I'm going to lose my clock, but everything else on the bike should be fine. All right, when disconnecting the battery, I want to be careful I don't touch anything with this the positive side. All right, I got the bolt out. Disconnect the negative side. Negative side's easier to get to. Covered up. All right, the two fuses, the fuse for the USB charger and the fuse for the trickle charger, are going to have to sit in here side by side. All right, everything's hooked back up. So let's uh, apply power to the bike and make sure everything's working. All right. Sounds good. That sounds good. All right. So everything works. Reinstall the cover. And 
And the next thing, we'll check the charger, see if it's working. All right, let's see if the charger is working. I have 5.15 volts. I only have two things that I charge with USB. One of them is my phone and I'm using that. <clears throat> so I'm going to plug in my iPod. Maybe. There we go. All right. So it's charging. Current drops to zero. It's charging. And it's drawing about 0.9 amps. Well, it's dropping in current, 0.7. You see it, you see what it's doing. 5.1 volts, 0.7 amps. So everything's working like it should. So I'll turn on the bike. All right, looks good, I'd say it works. Now the USB charger, what I'm going to do is if I need to use it, which in most cases I'm not going to, I'm going to use my bike for town riding, short trips, so I shouldn't need it to charge my phone often. But if I do need it, I'll have it. And what I'm going to do, if I need to hook it up to my phone, I'll just run a USB cable up over the tank and connect it to my phone. And then, you know, when I'm done charging, I'll remove the cable, wind it up, and stow it away. And put the seat on. And another thing done. Well, I still have a few things to put on the bike. I have the engine guards to install, I'm waiting for those. I have the saddlebags to install. I'm also waiting for those. So I hope you come join me when I get those and install those on the bike. And like always, thank you for watching. And I hope you come back and join me next time.